Jesus' name. Who has been selected as the foreperson for our jury? I have. All right, ma'am, has the jury reached the verdict in the case? We have. Without disclosing the nature of the verdict, uh, were you able to follow, was everybody able to follow my instructions while you were deliberating? Yes. Yes, sir. Were you able to remain free from any outside contact, communication, or influence during the deliberation process? Yes, sir. All right, please hand the verdict forms to Mr. Mullins in advance of the reading of the verdict. I want to thank each of you for your service. Uh, after this, you will be discharged from your service. You'll be returned to the jury room, reunited with your electronic devices. I have a couple of minutes uh, that I would like to talk to you, and then uh, we will get you on your way. Uh, you will be able to speak with anybody about the case that you would like, uh, but you are not required to do so. Whether you decide to speak to anybody is a matter of your own free choice. Would the defendant please rise? With regard to count one, we, the jury in the above captioned case, find the defendant, Brooke Schuyler Richardson, not guilty of the offense of aggravated murder. And there appear to be 12 jury uh, signatures affixed. Verdict form two, involuntary manslaughter. We, the jury in the above captioned case, do by, hereby find the defendant, Brooke Schuyler Richardson, not guilty of the offense of involuntary manslaughter. Count three, child endangerment. We, the jury, find the defendant, Brooke Schuyler Richardson, not guilty of child endangerment. It does say we further find the defendant did not cause serious physical harm to the alleged victim, but the, uh, that finding is not necessary as a matter of law. <laughs> Verdict form number four, we, the jury in the above captioned case, find the defendant, Brooks Schuyler Richardson, guilty of the offense of abuse of a corpse. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are those the verdicts of the jury? Yes, sir. You may be seated.